Hello everyone, it's Penny. Welcome back to the YouTube Fab. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. I love to do quick edits to DIYs, everything on the budget. So if you love that kind of content, I would love to you hit the red button around here, get subscribed and be part of this family. So today's video, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to do with this red truck that I found on Dollar Store. And also everything I'm going to be using in this project is Dollar Store items but the paints are from walmart so let's get started so first what i'm going to be doing is just removing the entire mm, i don't know how you call that like shiny garland <laughs> so just like so and then i'm going to be look as you can see uh you can remove the little tires easily from there and but it has has those little like pointy things <laughs> spiky things <laughs> i don't know how you call that but yeah i'm going to just remove it all with this so it does came out really easily as you can see and now i'm going to be using a red burlap ribbon to uh, wrap the entire truck so first what i did was just cut a small piece of burlap and wrap the edges just like so and then i'm going to be doing um, the entire truck as you can see so here I just trying to place the beginning of the burlap to be able to wrap just like so So here I was finished with the ribbon, so I just use a little bit of hot glue and finish the end. Now with the green twine, I'm going to be just wrapping around the entire tree, just like so. And now I'm going to be using a little bit of the lighter just to give it a different texture to the twine and now uh, with the little tires i'm going to be using nautica rope but i just pull it apart to make it smaller or thinner yeah and then yeah i just start wrapping around the tire the entire tire just like so and i'm going to be repeating the step with the other one and now i'm going to just flip over the little truck and glue the tires using hackle next i'm going to be working with some black acrylic paint and i'm going to try to paint the little tires but then i decide to just hold down with that and i'm going to be using the white paint in may oh yeah draw the window so i used the paper that came with in the truck just to have like direction and i start to paint it in a little bit and it doesn't need to be perfect just like i want the really rustic look so i just like kind of here and there and i also add a little bit the white paint on the tires i'm like what the heck this look like a taika eyes you know this looks so weird so i go back and grab the black paint and cover the entire tires as you can see it added some white paint around the truck just like that and now with the merry christmas sign i'm going to be just removing the tag and i'm going to be using green a Christmas tree I think they call paint and also some black paint so I just cut I just paint Mary first and then I'm going to be painting black Christmas just like so and then I'm going to put those guys on the side and going to be working with the board do you remember the foam board that we got at the beginning so yeah I'm going to be use the other <laughs> 
let's solve it from board that I have a previous DIY and I'm going to be using the empty wax and create like a lines. So I did the same process in previous DIY like uh, with the other red rock I did but this time I do I did a little bit different. The only thing I did was use the empty wax with just a little bit and then the color moss and just kind of distress it a little bit. I kind of want it like um, white <laughs> in the background. If you don't understand my explanation, <laughs> then I uh, just um, add some high glue and place it all the pieces together the way I want it. I uh, use some burlap ribbon and uh, cover the edges just like so. And next, the for the top, I'm going to be using the chevron ribbon. I really like that one. And place it on top and on the bottom. Next, I'm going to be just making a little simple bow, just like so. And next, I was just trying to just messing around where I can place the ribbon. And finally, I just place it on the top. And I think they came out so cute. <laughs> So that's it for today. That's what I did with those irons. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, I would love to you give me a big, big, big thumbs up. And see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.